And next we have with us Dr. Ritika Singh, Senior Resident Department of Psychiatry, Subharti Medical College. I will request Ms. Kanika Malhotra to present this happening, Dr. Ritika, and welcome her. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for inviting me over there. So let us move towards the topic which I am going to present today. It is about internet addiction. So how many of you are familiar with the term internet addiction? All of you use internet. So you are familiar with the term internet addiction. So psychiatrically speaking, internet addiction comes under the category of compulsive impulsive disorders. So there's compulsion to use and there's an impulse to use the net. So it is further characterized by excessive or poorly controlled preoccupations, urges, behavior regarding the internet use against the symptoms which may lead to you know uh, the compulsive checking of social media online gaming constant browsing you will also suffer like other addiction withdrawal symptom in this kind of addiction despite of this the person will continue to the you continue using the net so moving on towards the classification of internet addiction it has been classified into five subtype like cyber sex addiction online relationship addiction compulsive information seeking gaming addiction and net compulsion now the topic of online shopping is also been considered among the same which has not been included yet it might come in near future so what is ex exactly cyber sex addiction so it involves obsession with the use of adult chat room pornographic sites uh, adult role playing again next thing is cyber relationship addiction it's quite similar to cyber sex addiction we see chat rooms, dating online, dating sites, net social networking sites. So the problem with these two thing is that we have a compromised uh, actual relationship and intimate relationship. These things predict or give us a false picture of how the thing should be conducted. But this doesn't happen. Like, for example, pornographic site, it is actually a movie where we'll have the actors, you'll have the director, you'll have editing, you'll have cameramen. So that is not true. Next, we'll move on to net compulsion. Now, this is quite interesting because the topic like online gambling, online gaming are included in it. So all of you might be familiar with the term PUBG or other games which you have been, multiplayer games which you have been playing. Fine. So everyone is attentive right you're listening okay how many of you play pubg or other multimedia player games abhi manamat karna aap sabhi khelte honge ha at least honest people over there so see this is something you take it lightly but people who are very seriously involved in it may suffer loss or uh, a major financial loss as well fine next is information overload so what happens in information overload session uh, the compulsive browsing to collect the information through net is there. Now, how do we come across it? Bahut bar OPD mein patient aate hai, bolte hai ki, Dr. Sahab, humne to net mein check kiya, is the ka ye side effect hai, hum nahi khayenge. So this is the problem which you are, you are also going to face in the future. Ki net ke doctors bahut mil jayenge aapko kare be. They have half information, but they do not know how to utilize it. Now in current taxi, current taxi we word, we cannot tell people ki aap nahi dhoondiye. Google mein agar aapko kuch mil raha hai, aap check mat kariye. But how to judici judiciously utilize it is something that has to be taken into part. Next is computer addiction. Like obsessive computer programming or offline computer game can be very addictive at times. Now let us see the epidemiological aspect. Uh, as of 2023, it is estimated about 6 to 8 percent of entire global population is affected by Internet. Countries like South Korea have high rate of approximately 20 percent addiction. In USA, a study conducted in 2020 stated about 12 percent of college students exhibit signs of Internet addiction. Whereas there was a study conducted, uh, 50 studies, separate studies were conducted in 19 different states of India, which estimated the risk involving 20 to 40 percent wherein the people can go into the internet addiction this there is one such example of a study conducted in kerala where if you can see the occasional frequent problem is 626 percent and greater level of addiction is there in 8.3 percent of population 
along with them associated depression anxiety and stress can also be noted again internet user india after china it's so i'm not talking about just smartphone it is about all the internet facilities which has been used uh, by the citizens so it is second year largest user one important point that approximately 71 million kids or also like a, between the age of 11 and 5 and 11 are using one form of internet or other by uh, by having an access to adults device again and another interesting fact is that active users in rural india are higher than the urban india and the gender divide has also been narrowed over the time you cannot say that male has been a more dependent per persona over here both male and female are equally involved in fact the age limit has also been widened the middle age or elderly people using internet just to cumber down their loneliness has been increased so how do you clinically classify what exactly addiction is like all the substance or other behavioral addictions there are also certain feature of salience compulsive use mood modification tolerance and withdrawal and despite of all this the continuation of the use of internet has been there so how do you classify it the person is preoccupied with the internet what does he think he thinks about previous online activity when did i log in last and he is in anticipation of when can i log in next then I increase the amount of time in order to achieve satisfaction he has made unsuccessful attempt to control cut back or stop internet use again restless mood depressed irritable behavior can be seen and more than the amount of time required has been spent on the use of internet apart from this there are other three criteria which should be there person has jeopardized or risked the loss of significant relationship job education or career opportunity he has lied to the family and therapist in order to conceal the use of internet and he's also using the internet as a way of escaping from problems or relieving our dysphoric mood now like every other health model we can divide the internet addiction also into biopsychosocial profile like that which means it wants to say that there's a biological cause there's a psychological cause and there are social factors which are responsible for the use of internet so biological model as already stated by ma'am there's a reward pathway or a pleasure pathway in the brain nucleus accumbens being one of the main um, structure involved and dopamine is the main hormone see if this pathway is there in the brain the yani ki iska kuch kaam hoga naturally bhi dopamine pathway kaam karta hai aisa nahi hai ki sirf addiction mein ya substance use mein hi dopamine pathway trigger hoga so let us see you can get natural highs see nucleus nucleus accumbens is there in ventral tegmental area and release of dopamine so this dopamine you can get from natural highs like exercise uh doing some rewardful activities drinking proper amount of fluid or taking proper amount of food but the release of dopamine has is increased when you try to increase it from external sources like behaviorally induced high or substance induced high another finding suggests that there is serotonin genotype in internet addiction which is quite similar to that is seen in depression or anxiety patients so there is a neurochemical correlation between depression and internet addiction then there is genetic predisposition factor as well it is said that in people uh, who are uh, addicted in one form of other they have less number of dopamine receptors or the serotonin dopamine level is imbalanced so what happened the pleasure senses the good feeling which other population can get from normal activities they have, they fail to achieve it so this pulls them towards the use of any form of substance whether it is behavioral or chemical then uh, coming on to the psychological factors now maladaptive cognition having low self worth depression triggers pathological internet use inability to cope with anxiety um, you know how do we i deal with boredom how do i escape from reality which is not up to my wish this is how people get available uh, you know get uh, uh, attracted towards the internet use again certain forms of temperament and personality like anxious avoidant personality emotionally unstable personality has been seen associated with internet use so this view in short if i like to say ki emotional regulation 
how do we facilitate emotional regulation in an unhealthy way we choose one form or other form of substance next is social model of environment of uh, bi among the biopsychosocial model what happened in social model uh, currently the societal norm the accept accessibility the acceptability of the internet पहले ऐसा होता था कि फोन होता ही नहीं था आफ्टर जियो बम्बार्टमेंट एवरीबडी हैज डेटा टू यूज व्हाट हैपेंस अगेन कि पीयर कंपैरिजन व्हाट व्हाई इज माय फ्रेंड मेकिंग अ रील व्हाई कांट आई मेक अ रील इट इज सोशली बीन एक्सेप्टेबल बाय पेरेंट्स एज वेल सो दीस आर द फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर प्रमोटिंग द मोर अनजुडिशियस यूज ऑफ इंटरनेट नेक्स्ट थिंग इज परमिसिव और इंडल्जेंट पेरेंटिंग और एट टाइम्स टू मच ऑफ इंट्रा फैमिली कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ यूनिटिव पेरेंटिंग now the parent can't expect ki bachcha phone nahi use karega if both the parents are sitting and using the mobile phone he is going he or she is going to learn from you again another thing is many people have fear socializing uh, in the journal public so they use internet as a way of digitally socializing as such their need of socializing has also been fulfilled and they do not face the public so as you can see this is a biopsychosocial model of health uh one thing uh, in studies it has been seen that lower iq and lower eq eq means emotional quotient is been associated with higher use of internet addiction now how does it affect our day to day life first of all it reduces people's motivation for interacting with each other so people spend less time in the company of friends and relatives more time in uh, internet again insomnia is highly related to addiction internet use disorder sleep deprivation further can cause reduced concentration Im uh, immunity has been compromised with the same academic decline etc again the sedentary act of computer uh, has result in lack of exercise and increasing in metabolic complications then the cyber affair this is a term called cyber affair wherein the online relationships have been blooming so it can cause the problem in marriages and actual relationship which are been there in the family again uh, talking about physical symptoms carpal tunnel syndrome back strain neck strain with the increased use of internet has been seen then we have online gambling and gaming which involve financial risk uh, one matlab aap log rozmarra ke life mein koi na koi news article dekhenge jahan pe you will get ki an adolescent have lost this much amount of money playing online gaming or have been physically or uh, you know violently aggressive towards the family members because the internet use what cut down behavioral changes irritability has been there cyber crimes including computer fraud ad fraud identity theft data threat and also online harassment or simple trolling jisko bahut easy way mein bola jata hai ki aaj is people ko troll especially you see this in celebrities ki they are being troll trolled so you also become the part of that system sooner or later so these are the uh, facts so there are few tests like internet addiction test which was generated by dr kimberly yang and uh, there's internal related problem scale so as you can see internet addiction test is a 20 uh, questionnaire form and there are points which will depict how much frequently you are using the internet so do we have solution for these problems okay so the goal is not the abstinence from abstinence from the use of internet we focus on a judicious use so again like uh, the health model will deal the solution in pharmacological psychological social and technical way pharmacological like, like it was mentioned ki it has correlation with depression certain antidepressant like ssris have been found to be useful methylphenidate or uh, psychostimulant drug has been found useful in children with adhd so now it has been advised it has been a, it has been in guidelines as well ki below 2 year of children you should not allow them to see phone screen because there is high chance of the child developing adhd along with the ophthalmic complications mood stabilizers have their own role and the combination treatment of acetylopram with quetiapine or naltrexone has been seen now let us move towards the psychological approach how can we treated by psychological approach see cognitive behavior therapy and motivational interviewing these are two therapy which could be practiced by which are implemented by a clinical psychologist or a healthcare professional so there are other practices which the patient himself can get involved in like practicing the opposite what do you mean by this 
in this particular point the main focus is the amount and the particular point of time when the internet is being used so you will cut down that time you will move the use of internet to another time such that the habit of using at same time again and again has been broken down so it is the first and very little step towards uh, you know cutting down the use of internet then external stoppers now make a concrete plan instead of playing game or from 4 to 6 i'll go out and i'll meet my friends i'll go to the museum i'll go to the library or i'll just go out and walk around to the shopping complex and come back setting up of alarm clock now another point i'd like to focus ki please keep the alarm clock ka timing 5 minutes ki duration mein most of the time kya hota hai ek ghante mein alarm baja aapne band kiya fir aap fir kaam karne lag jate ho fir alarm bajta rehta hai to after one hour set a time ki 5 minute baad fir baje 5 minute baad fir baje at least aap do teen baar mein chhod doge computer use karna then another thing is putting hair band or any external stopper around your phone it is just a mindful based practice if you put a hair band around your phone you will see that uh, there is an external barrier to use your phone so you can trick your brain ki i have to pass this barrier and then use the phone so in this way you can prolong or delay the use of internet then goal setting should be very judiciously planned you cannot have very high ambitious plan ki aaj main 24 ghante root kar net use kar raha hu ya fir 7 ghante jaise hamare resident use kar rahe hain उसके बाद मैं अगले दिन एक घंटा यूज करूंगा नो यू कैन नॉट डू दैट यू हैव टू बी अ शॉर्ट गोल बेसिस अनदर थिंग इज रिमाइंडर कार्ड पेशेंट शुड मेक द रिमाइंडर कार्ड क्या करना है उसमें एक रिमाइंडर कार्ड में आपको पांच हार्मफुल इफेक्ट लिखने हैं एक में आपको पांच इफेक्ट यूजफुल इफेक्ट जो आपको आफ्टर करबिंग डाउन द इंटरनेट मिलेगा सो यू मेक एन इंडेक्स कार्ड एंड कीप इट रीडिंग एंड सेटिंग एज एड एज रिमाइंडर then again social support group like alcohol anonymous we have social support group for phone addiction as well so this helps how does it help the maladaptive cognition of not socializing or having an imaginary fantasy life in the net is going to turn into real life relationships you will get to meet the peers who are going through the same problem you will communicate with them your problem and understand their problem and finally family therapy is very important because the family is someone who is going to stay for you after even if you are going in some rehabilitation center or in some hospital setting first of all psycho educating the family about how addictive the internet can be how it can become a disorder it is not just a bad habit but it has become a disease then you have to really have to try to communicate pre morbid problem which already exists in the family is the child using internet just to Uh, curb himself out of the problem which are there in the family uh, involving in new hobbies taking vacation listening to each other and a strong family support is mostly needed so technical support has already been covered by ma'am i'll just go through it uh, one by one you can turn off the notification you can set the screen to black and white remove distraction based app you can set a longer passcode turn off do not disturb certain setting time limits on your phone and parental control applications for keeping a check on your child's internet use so how do you do that like there's an app if you go to the setting aspect of your phone you will find app notification just swipe left this blue will turn into white or transparent thing and you can set up stop the notifications again going to the accessibility area of your phone going to the color filter and moving it into gray scale again digital if you go to the setting point of your brave phone you will see digital well being and parental control being one option here you can see in the second image app timers is there so here you can set the timing to limit your application you can limit the use the application for example instagram to 1 hour a day or 30 minutes a day now this is important parental control application or google family link nowadays even the children young children or young teenager have phone so how do you control their uh, internet use uh, you cannot say no to them because there are many online classes going on so you will download a google family link program from um, sorry app application from uh, what we call google play store and then you will make up your account and you will also make a google account of your child later on you will be doing some setting aspects in the parental control part of your child and after setting these are certain things which can be checked upon you can keep an eye on the screen time of your child you can manage the apps which child can see or you can block the app 
यू कैन ऑल्सो सेट दी बेड टाइम फॉर द चाइल्ड लाइक सपोज नौ बजे का बेड टाइम है तो चाइल्ड विल द फोन विल ऑटोमेटिकली गेट लॉक द द चाइल्ड वॉन्ट बी एबल टू यूज फोन पोस्ट नाइन पी एम so this is also a photograph which shows that 35 minutes of the net has been used by the person and again the gps tracking can also be done with the same application so in final thought the judicious use of internet is being advised a multifaceted approach which involves biological psychological and social aspects should be taken into consideration i'll end with this thank you so much Thank you, Dr. Ritika, for your enlightening talk. Um, if I can invite Dr. Swaleha Mujawar, who is the Assistant Professor of Department of Psychiatry, to present the memento to Dr. Ritika. Next, I request Dr. Ashna Agarwal, ma'am, to please come and felicitate Dr. Radhika Singh. Thank you. 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 Thank you.